Alright guys, so today we are going to be sharing our latest Goodwill haul and Eric has decided to join me for the haul, so that's Here exciting. Uh, but we just wanted to show you guys what we picked up and yeah, how much did we spend at Goodwill this time around? 30, 30 and some change. That's like almost <laughs> always. always what we spend when we go. It's like 30 something bucks. <laughs> Every time we go, it seems to be our bill. Still working on them gift cards that we bought for yeah, Christmas. That's yep. good. They're, they're almost gone. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's get started with what we picked up. Do you want to start with something? Sure. <laughs> we grab, sure. <laughs> sure. We grabbed a whole box of plates for... Five dollars. Five dollars. Ended up being Ray Dunn. Yeah, Ray Am I saying that right? Ray is Dunn. I washed out? I apologize. Um, it is. Yeah, so like Ray Dunn, a lot of people collect Ray Dunn. Some of her pieces go for a lot of money. I don't think th these necessarily know. No, it looks um, like about... They came in sets of four. Yeah, originally they were sets of four. And, you know, shipping included and stuff, it seems like maybe about 30 bucks for each set. Yeah, that's it's not, not bad. It's They're not heavy, bad though, considering they were only five, five dollars. They're really pretty. They're they unused. say bloom on them. So perfect, like, for spring. First, like, springtime, I think. So even if you're just, like, displaying them, they'd be really cute for spring. So we'll sell those. Um,. It'll probably four, be 30 Four bucks. to a lot, so I'll, I'll put up the auction as um, a Artisan quantity. collection, if we can see that on there. I know. A little bit hard. <laughs> but yeah, that was, I think that was a great deal for four ninety nine eight Eight Ray Dunn plates. Yeah, seriously. Very I pretty. Like, I'm surprised no one had snatched them I love before, the hand of a good I love before the hand we of a good got got them so that's awesome the pricing is usually really good in that store for the most part yep. uh, what's next? what do we want to do next ah, okay so this is something i bought because i like hard stuff for some reason i don't know <laughs> Eric found this box. This the shoe boxes, man, have been really good yeah, to us Yeah, like I, I bought a bunch of mugs and I sold a grumpy mug for 30 bucks. Yeah, we that did was like, sell was more than mug. both boxes of mugs. Yep, that was exciting. But this was this $7, was dollars, well, six ninety nine. I know you can't see it, it's in plastic. Yeah, we'll get it all out. out there. I just wanted we'll, to make sure you see the price. We'll get it out. See, now this what? is something that, like, me personally, I probably would have walked past. Not even kidding you. But Eric, he... He sometimes is naturally drawn to things that I am not naturally drawn to, and this being one of them, like when he called me over, I'm kind of like, "What is this?" <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is uh, what was it? It was Picard. Picard, yes. China. and I believe it's called a uh, Rose and Daisy. Yeah, there Gold? is an imprint on it. I know it's probably Daisy hard Rose? to tell. Yeah, let's get it up here. But block your face. Block my face. There is a. I'll go this way. <laughs> I don't there, know. There is a very fine yeah, detailing of daisies in there. It is engraved of, you know, a print. And these things are... They're actually really Yeah, expensive. they're not scratched up or anything. Yeah. They they were used. There's something down in there. <laughs> some sort of a liquid was in there at some point that dried a little ring down there in the bottom. We'll clean but, it out. So but, tell us. Tell us what you were seeing. Perhaps. When I saw the box, this was the first thing I looked at. I was like, wow, that's a really cool teapot. And I looked it up, and the last sold on this was about 93 bucks with shipping. And this thing, there's no chips. There's a, a little bit of crud that should come right off, though. There's no scratching. The gold is not even faded on the tippy top, yeah, which is kind of brand uncommon. Yeah, new, in my opinion. Like, so, wow, like 90 crazy. bucks for, for that? For just one piece out of this whole box. There are two other listed right now, and they're wanting about that same price. So I might just undercut them a little bit and try and get this one out of here. Yeah. If just that sells, <laughs> that whole box was well worth the seven dollars. But yep, there but is there a bunch of stuff. More. And it's so. all Picard China. Yep, all Every in the same piece. condition. We got no issues that I saw so far. So this one's another teapot, a little smaller, different shape. Oh, we're such such good shape. Yeah, like I said, really there's some nice. fingerprints and stuff on it, but nothing and that should wash off. did you see this one listed? The last one of these sold, I think it was about $63 with the shipping. Crazy. And these were solds that were like maybe yeah. like two weeks ago. Yeah, too. and these aren't listed prices. These are sold. They actually yeah. sold now, there, for there might be. I'll have to check. Amount. There might be some that are listed a little less than that right now, so I have to be competitive in that yeah. aspect. So yeah. I, if I don't get 50 it's still a good deal. <laughs> yes. Then there was also, oh, the you creamer. can take this one. The sugar bowl. Sugar and creamer. creamer. 
This was a little all over the place. It could have been anywhere from, I think I saw 25 to 35. There's definitely some sugar specks Is in there. Is there some sugar specks yeah. in there? Again, excellent shape. It has that etched pattern in it. No, no wear in the gold anywhere. Yeah, so nice. that is pretty cool. Usually when you find stuff at Goodwill, you gotta worry about chips. And I was worried about and chips in this box. And they are also all marked on the bottom as well. It's such good shape. Like what they do, use them one time and then Yeah, they had away? a tea party, one tea party. <laughs> so then I actually ended up with two, two sets. And these guys aren't salt worth too much shakers. at all, but I would turn mine upside down, but every time I find salt and pepper shakers, there is salt and pepper in them. That's just kind of weird. Yeah, it's there like, is actually do, salt and pepper in them. Do I sell it with the salt and pepper in it? Like, it's vintage salt and pepper. Maybe. The, <laughs> but yeah, there's two sets of them. Yes. One set this does set have doesn't rubber. Have, this set doesn't have stoppers. This set does, but I'm not going to flip them over because I'll be wearing pepper. So. <laughs> the, I, these I don't think were worth much. You might get 15 bucks a set. Even they're still. light, though. They're yeah, like gonna very cost me light. Like three, they're not going to cost ship. much to ship. Ooh, <laughs> and there's one more thing. Yeah, right? I didn't find a comp on these, but I'm, ah, I might have to look a little harder. Yeah. I didn't scroll through everything. There's a lot of pieces in like this design. Oh goodness. Tons and imagine. tons of pieces. But there was also two candle holders. Again, no chips, no scratches. A little bit, little of, bit, little bit of wax. A little bit of wax on one. So <laughs> everything was used. used. It's like everything. somebody had a nice little tea party and then packed it up. <laughs> That's a pretty cool find for seven bucks, especially yeah. in the condition I was in. Yeah. I walked around with this box worried I was going to open it and like the bottoms were going to be chipped or a handle was glued on, but everything is just in really, really good shape. So that was just fantastic. Big You've probably heard us say many times that we are not the best with glassware. Yeah, we're still learning. We are. So There's a lot to learn. <laughs> yeah, we could watch videos and stuff like that, but we actually picked up, uh, this is a price guide. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, the prices for this is not going to yeah. be how it is now. I think this book was made in the 70s, I want to say. Yeah, but it's very but good as far as like showing... it's going to be very informative. Show, as far as showing patterns and yeah. what they're called. And, and names like of that, patterns so. and things like that. So, like, when we're just sitting around and, like, we can, like, look through it. And, you know, if we see something, like... Um, like we look at the like when the auctions come up, we look at the pictures beforehand. So if there's something that like we're not quite help sure, help narrow of, down the search. Yeah, it could definitely help with us. And then there's also some colored pictures of some things as well. And what was funny was there was a bookmark in here, and it's actually it looks like auction. one of my auction tags. Yeah, it's like one of the auction tags that you get when you um, win something. So sockets someone and wrench. someone <laughs> won sockets and wrench for fifty cents. I'm pretty at the sure auction. that is from the auction. It is. It <laughs> that looks like the same handwriting yep but yeah so, no, i mean yeah you can watch videos you can read a book another good way walk through your local antique store oh yeah we did that a couple of times some as people well. don't necessarily have the tags on their stuff correct yeah as far I as what it actually that. is yeah but for the most part most of the antique dealers are pretty good especially around here we have i think new oxford's like five minutes from antique us. capital of the world antique capital there's antique stores everywhere <laughs> Another thing that we picked up were <laughs> more of these wooden shoe, uh, what do you even call these things? I think last time I called them a <laughs> shoe horn. I know they're not a shoe horn, but I didn't know the technical term. No, oh, I don't know. Um, it's not a stretcher. It's not a stretcher. A stretcher will have like um, threads that you can actually extend it out. These and push just the shoe. help keep a shoe's shape. Basically. A lot of people don't know if you have a leather shoe, you can actually make some of them wet. I wouldn't do it to suede. And then if you put one of these in here, you can get some of those wrinkles like out of the toe area. You can dampen your shoe up, cram one of them in there, stretch that, it back out and give and it some uh, conditioner and stuff like that. You can get some of those ripples out. Another reason that we um, have purchased these is because like sometimes when, like, when we're selling shoes, a shoe will just look better when it looks like there's a foot in it. Or if you bought one thing. that looks good and the other one's kind of pushed down from being in a box, yeah, this can help, help you reshape help it, stick it. it in there for but a while. But these are actually Cole Haan. They did have another set, I think. Um, yeah, I think they're cedar. Yeah, so just very nice. And they were $1.99, so not bad. So this is definitely just a nice item to I think have. That's, when that's a smaller shoe size, maybe a woman's. Yeah. Plus it's got like pink pink rope up on the top. Yep. We have a big set, but you can't cram one of them in a small shoe. You'll end up ripping a seam yep. or something. So they're just nice to have, especially if you are it's um, a tool of reselling the trade. shoes. Tool of the trade. Um, let's 
see. I'll do... I did find a piece of clothing. Um, a lot of times when we go, I I don't spend a whole lot of time looking at the clothes. Um, but I did find this really long, uh, I guess it could be considered a long tunic or possibly dress. It is by a company called Jilly, which I believe stands for Got It, Love It. I know QVC um, sells this brand. This is a women's size 3X. It's just kind of like a nice... Um, lightweight, almost like a lightweight sweater material, um, tunic or dress. And I know this brand um, is pretty pricey on QVC, so I just decided to pick it up. I can't remember exactly what it was, like how much it cost. I think their shirts um, are for. 50, yeah, this wasn't even like in that. the dress section, so it, I definitely paid a, a shirt price for it. Um, even if it is a dress, I'll have to do a little more research for it. But um, their stuff is more pricey, and I like picking up um, larger sizes. So I did get that. It's very, gosh, it's so super soft. And then I did end up buying myself a piece of clothing because when I go thrifting, I also thrift for myself. It's not just all for reselling. You gotta have fun. Yeah, you gotta find some stuff for yourself every every once in a while. So this is just um, from the brand called Sweet Rain. I'm sure it didn't cost much, you know, originally. I don't know exactly where it would have came from, but I love floral uh, patterns, and this just has roses all over it. Short sleeve, open front, um, kind of cardigan. It's long and then the bottom has some funky fringe so i love that funky. very very like boho i just love that kind of style so i thought that would be really cute in the spring with um just a shirt underneath of it so that is for me and let's see what else we got i got another box another shoe box another so uh, many shoe i don't box. think it's a shoe box it's so close to that size boxes. though and shame on her because she walked right past this I and did. I decided I was going to check and it out. And I will tell you why. And we will discuss this. Um, this next item is Precious Moments. And Precious Moments is something I steer clear of. I've always steered clear of because I have always heard that Precious Moments is not worth anything. So I believed it. I didn't really take the time to educate myself on it because I just assumed like, well, everyone says Precious Moments is worthless. So I'm just going to listen to them. And Don't ever just listen to what no, people I say. Mean, maybe, maybe. <laughs> I, I tend not Do to look at it. A research. lot of it may be pretty worthless. Do but it's like research. even when I pass Avon, I tend to look at it just in case just you in found case. that one item yeah. that might be yeah. good. Yeah, you can't believe absolutely everything someone says unless you do your own research. So now what we found was two ninety nine, and it is an incomplete. Yeah, it's not Nativity <laughs> set from 1982. But it is Precious Moments. Yes, so it only has a few pieces, so I mean that's good. People look for replacement parts all Especially the time, and breaks. some of these guys are pretty expensive. So the first up we have a camel, if you want to block yourself here so we can get this camel. So the first guy that was in here, we're trying to block off some of that light. The paint on it's very light, but it is a camel. It's so cute! It's got like a little patchwork yep. looking design on it. When you look precious. these up, they typically would have the date and stuff on the bottom of them. This one was 1982, Jonathan and David Inesco Imports. And looking up just this camel, it's a pretty solid $25 to $30. The lighting's different. We closed that curtain just a little bit. <laughs> so right there, the whole box was worth it. Yeah, just one of the figures. The next little guy in here I think is actually Joseph. Very tiny. So tiny. Sorry. Yep, there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh. going to talk out of no. frame. <laughs> Joseph, I looked it up, he came in a three-piece set with Mary and baby Jesus. Um, alone, he might only be like 10 bucks, but somebody might need a replacement of Broken Joseph, so they'll be yeah, happy with it. Yeah, and he won't weigh anything to Yeah, ship, so, so we'll put him up cheap and hope he goes as a replacement part. Mm-hmm. Another animal. Another animal. We have a cow this time with a little birdie on his back. That's so cute. I love that. And I believe when I looked this up, the cow was the same as the camel. A solid $25 to $30 for this particular one. Some years don't sell as high, so you have to yeah, always make sure you get the right year because they change them. Some of them didn't have a little bird on the back and such things like that. 
So two ninety nine, and we're already up in like the sixty seventy range for some Inesco. I'm gonna have to apparently, pay a lot more attention to Inesco. Yeah, in apparently the thrift store didn't think Precious Moments is worth Man, anything I'll tell you either. What, when I, when I looked up comps on Inesco just to try and see like what is worth money, nine inch figurines. Ooh. That's another thing. I walked right past this thing. No yeah. idea. You can just take I this figured, one. Because as soon as Eric said and I saw it, I was like, oh, that's Precious Moments. It's not worth anything. And next up, we got some buildings for the Nativity set. Yep, these are really cute. Everything's in primo shape. Oh, here I have my backwards because the little doors here. If you check the bottom, though, um, I guess when these came in a set, they probably had some sort of lighting because there's a yeah, little indent. Yeah, there's like a little indent. And then a hole in the bottom and the windows are open. We don't have the lighting, but again, there's always people looking for replacements for old sets. Yeah. Yeah, like, you know, animals can easily knock things over. And these were stuff. these were pretty big sets. Like they didn't come in one box. They came in multiple boxes to build your set up. But yep. if you look them up online, there's some pretty impressive nativity sets from Inesco. It's like a piece of grass. Piece or of grass in there. Or around. hay. I think it's hay. Like maybe they had it on like a I hay. don't know that I saw a comp on these specifically, so we might be winging it. I'll check around a little bit more, make sure I get the right ear in that, but I don't know. I'm, if I had to guess, twenty-five to thirty bucks. We'll see. Yep. It could be less, but the box was three dollars. <laughs> three dollars for the box. Well worth it. Well worth it. Always dig through your boxes. Yeah, don't especially just when they're mugs. Flip them mugs over. I stick my fingers between that tape. Yeah, like I, I stick my fingers down between that tape and everything and try and I'll I'll peel the tape. <laughs> I don't know if that's <laughs> breaking you, yeah, breaking the rules in a thrift to. store, but they walk past me, see me doing it. They don't really say anything. Yeah. I won't. I didn't open the gold things because they were wrapped in plastic, and that seemed a little too far because I wouldn't have been able to get the plastic back on. Yeah. If I know I'm. If I know, oh, I'm confident I'm buying yeah, something, that's, I don't that's have the way I look at it. If I'm like 99% sure I'm buying this box, like I will dig through it and look. If you're like unsure, you can probably just go up to the counter and ask them. Yeah. They'll probably let you. Yeah, I did, I did uh, break open a plas uh, plastic over a shoe box once before, but it was only because there was a stink bug in it. And as much as I hate <laughs> stink bugs and bugs in general, I won't kill them and I do want them to live. So. I opened the plastic just so it could escape if it wanted to. <laughs> so it's a pretty good day. Spent what, maybe like an hour in there yeah. and 30 bucks. It yeah. takes a little while when you record to go through a thrift store. Yeah. There's a lot of chat and all that. All right, well, we hope you guys enjoyed our latest Goodwill haul. You'll have to let us know what you thought down below, and we will see you next time.